Hey guys, that'll do it outdoors. I've got a mobile ground blind set up here that I'm gonna uh, show you guys today. Uh, in total, we got about 55 bucks. Uh, I gotta give some credit to Red Clay Adventures on YouTube for giving me the original idea. Um, if you go watch this video, you'll see how mine's a little, I've added to it. Um, and uh, we'll walk through kind of what's going on here. So this is my mobile ground blind setup. Uh, so we've got these posts here. These are for electric fence fences, uh, about $2 at Orschlons. Um, the only ones they had were the white ones. So I grabbed some of this camo tape. Um, and I'm going to tape these posts up to obviously camouflage them. Then what you'll do is you'll get these uh, zip ties and you're going to wrap this around and zip tie it. Okay. I've got four to go all the way down this. Uh, uh, some people uh, use the burlap. It's a little bit heavier. I'm going to try this and uh, just see how well it holds up. Uh, the other idea here is I've got this umbrella and this I'm going to put above me in the tree and uh, I'm going to Gorilla Glue uh, some old netting that I've got right here to the top of it. And I'm going to have it hanging down off of this uh, to kind of give me just a little bit more cover. Um, I don't like the idea of pop-up blinds because this is a mobile setup. Remember, public hunting land. You've got to be um, not sticking out, sticking out like a sore thumb. You know, I want to be as super uh, tight and minimal as possible and uh, low, low weight. I mean, I'm carrying this in with my uh, hang on stand. That way I'm prepared for anything I run into. If I need to sit on the ground, I'll have this. And you're not looking at much weight at all. Um, there's the dimensions for this. I mean, it doesn't weigh much. It weighs a pound or something. So I'll have that. I'll carry it in with my blind or with my stand and I'll be prepared for anything that comes my way. When, I go, when I'm going out to these public spots, a lot of time it's gonna be an all day hunt. So I really need um, uh, as, as many options as possible. And I also, let me grab this, show you guys. Had my wife get this from Walmart, 15 bucks. Okay, it's super light as well. Uh, holds up 300 pounds. Folds. Super convenient. Lightweight. Fold it up. Either carry it in or uh, tie it on the inside of uh, the uh, stand as I'm going in. Uh, I'm in Oklahoma, so I don't really need a whole lot of clothes. Where a lot of guys are just... You know, they're cram packed when they're going in because they've got clothes and everything else they need to stay warm. Um, not the case with, me, with Oklahoma. I mean, it doesn't get real super cold till a lot of times later on in the year. And even if it is a cold morning, it usually heats up during the day. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. Just kind of a little bit of insight on my thinking. So uh, we'll continue the video. I'll uh, tape these sticks down real quick and then we'll continue and I'll show you guys the final setup. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick what comes with this umbrella, buddy, pop-up umbrella. Got the carrying case, got the umbrella, and got your mount for the tree. You could probably find a better umbrella. This is all Bass Pro had at the time. So, this is what I got. I've hunted with these before. All right, so we got a little bit of an issue with this umbrella. Just wanted to note it to you guys. It is the type that needs to screw into the tree. Um, so, if they don't allow that on your public lands, you may want to try a different route or rigging something up that you don't have to screw this in but this is how it goes together you just put it in line it up put this pin 
And I lied, this ain't the type I've used before. I've used one just like it. The one I had actually wrapped around the tree. You didn't have to screw it in, but uh, that's how it works, okay? Fan goes in, opens up. And then I'll, I'm gonna set this all up and show you the final product. Now, gotta remember, uh, this only weighs two pounds. Um, I'm going to end up gluing this to the top here. This is some old netting I found. Uh, I may actually try to go find me a woodland pattern or something. I'm not sure, but uh, I've also got uh, some paracord that if I need to, I can tie to this and tie up to this tree here. I've got some already connected here, uh, but you can see, man, this is awesome. Um, I, I hunt with a crossbow, so... I don't have to do a lot of moving, but man, if you hunt it with the compound, you can move this out a little bit and, uh, and really have some room in here. But uh, this is kind of the setup. Got plenty of, if I wanted to, I could, I could probably tie this up to here and create some holes in here, which actually, now that I think about it, that might be something I do to keep away from having to mess with this netting. I mean, look at that. You could maybe uh, super glue some Velcro or something on here and then up here and just Velcro it and then create some shooting lanes in here. But uh, you can make this as wide, you know, uh, as you want or as wide, I think it'll go uh, 12 feet is what is how, length, as lo how long it'll go. So, um, like I said, you could be super minimal in here. I could even bring this umbrella down a little bit further uh, to create even a smaller pocket here but uh, obviously you're going to be uh, out of the rain with this uh, so I mean for 55 bucks um, it's not that bad uh, a lot of this stuff can be replaced if you need to or much cheaper than that um, the umbrella was the most costly thing uh, so uh, I didn't tape the post down yet uh just because i mean I, I don't really need to do that for the video uh, there's my seat um, i've got some paracord in here i might change the color on that but having a little bit of orange out on public land ain't a bad idea just tied it here so if i need to move it somewhere i can gave me plenty of length here the way this umbrella uh, goes it's got these buttons here that snap on okay it's not the best quality but uh you know i don't know we'll see after a couple uses uh, i'm not going to be dragging it through anything i'm going to keep it uh on the back of my stand and uh use it up there and all kinds of stuff so um yeah the, put these on and tie them off to the back tree make it tight it's not that bad Here's how this ends up looking, okay? I mean, you could really tighten this down and really make this compact. But, you know, you would, just like your climbing sticks, put it on the back of your stand. I mean, this weighs nothing, guys. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna set this up and just kind of show you how it goes. Here's the seat. Get out into the woods. Roll this out. The good thing about these is they have this foot piece. You can help you drive it in the ground. Goes in pretty easy. There we are. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet either with this, you know, like I said, shorten this up, cut it, 
and super glue it or uh, not super glue but maybe that green gorilla glue or uh, or maybe uh, put some velcro on here and do it like this you know I don't know yet uh, just have to kind of think about it but uh, I've like I said I've ground hunted most of my life I've killed my best bucks on the ground uh, but so it can't be done but I do know I mean moving like this is too much you know what I mean if they're if they're on you this right here is too much so you got to really be covered but you also need a lot of uh, a lot of ability to shoot as well so there's kind of a fine line there it's kind of why I'm second guessing maybe doing this because I don't want to have I don't want to be limited on my shooting lanes uh, but I, I definitely want to be hidden so uh, I'll have to figure that out and uh, see what I'm gonna do about that if you guys have suggestions or anything like that go ahead and let me know and uh, appreciate you watching and that'll do it